Always two beverages. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna spill this. Apologies in advance for Clyde's tippy tapping in the background. You're probably gonna hear that today. It's just me. Eric is on his way to work and he was supposed to be here to film this vlog with me. Woke up to freezing rain and snowfall, so we sent him off to work early. I'm just gonna settle this dog. Clyde, say hi to your fans. They don't know you're alive. There was a dispute in the comments last week about whether Clyde is still with us. I can assure you he is. Right, baby? Mwah. Come lay down. Now before you yell at me, I did drink the Kool-Aid and get one of these. Would I do it again? Probably not. So our vlog today was really supposed to be about all the fun things that you can do in Vancouver. But uh, it very quickly became apparent to us that this vlog is really actually about all the reasons why we left Vancouver. Eric's sister was visiting and we really wanted to show her a good time. Effectively, Eric's sister coming out to visit us pretty much sealed the nail on our decision to move out here. And it was because it was almost like, I feel like when someone comes to visit and you take them to all these places that you're not necessarily seeking out for yourself, it reminds you of like the good around. And it was just all of those things that we went to were such a long drive. And I was like, no, I want this outside my doorstep. So the first place that we went with Eric's sister was Lynn Canyon. I think one of the things we were mulling about was whether we should live in North Vancouver and that was sort of a push in that direction. We just always said we need to get on the other side of the bridge. Specifically this bridge and this bridge. It feels like there's a bridge between why we came out here and where we are right now. Number one on our stop, Lynn Canyon. If you haven't been there, you should absolutely check it out. It does get busy, it's very touristy, but it is incredible. Two beverages, always. So the second thing we did with Kat, Eric's sister, we went to Deep Coat. We got in the canoe, paddled out on the cove, and we just really sat in the moment and enjoyed. Basically had golden hour the entire time. We hung out with some seals. Welcome to my taste test. We have the No Name Cheese Flavored Twists. This is the bag, as you can see. Um, all right, here we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely flavor is cheesy, for sure. I feel like I prefer a Cheeto. Cheeto, if you want to sponsor us, please let us know. Um, but it'll do, it'll do in a pinch. <laughs> Is it um, ocean canoe worthy? It's ocean canoe worthy for sure. Okay, that's all that yeah, matters. That's it. And for the most part, we just kept looking at each other and thinking, okay. And of course, we got Hannah's donut. Of course. We visited a friend in Pemberton. We slept over the night before, all had dinner together, and then we woke up in the morning, and Eric and I. We took the dogs out of the van, I turn around and I look up and the sun is coming up over Mount Curry and it's literally right where they live. That's the view for them walking out of their door. And I just remember, holy shit, this is it because there was something missing the entire time that we were in Vancouver. Because Eric has wanted to not live in the city since we talked about coming out west, basically. He has always been like, no, if we're making this big move, we're doing it for what we came for, and that is to be in nature. There's something about me that will constantly 
shift towards what I have, you know, the picture in my head of what I should do versus what I want to do. And that led us to Vancouver. But it always felt like there was something missing and I just didn't know if I could put my finger on it. And this moment was the putting your finger on it. I thought, oh my God, like we moved across the country to be in the mountains and we moved to the biggest city we've ever lived in. And that's just not it. This is it. That's what I was thinking in the moment. I was like, this is it. So anyway, I'll show you the picture. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right outside their door. And I looked at Eric and I said, okay, I mean it. Start looking for places. I know I said two liquids, but the only liquid I have put in my body in today is water, so we're making an exception this time. So the third thing we did with Eric's sister was a plan to go up to Joffrey Lake. The hike was beautiful. I mean, we're relatively new to this area. I know that hike has been old hat, very popular for a lot of people, but it's relatively accessible. We wanted something that was going to take us, you know, a million hours, and and it was just stunning. It just really put into perspective that when you live in a place where nature is easily accessible, you're going to get out into it more. It was a pretty incredible day. We got really lucky. It had just snowed. It was magical. It was one of those winter wonderland days where there's snow everywhere, twinkling in the lights, birds were landing on our heads. Oh, oh, no, 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 you can't do that. You can't help yourself. <laughs> wow. Wait, we should get one in my okay. hands too. Oh, here we go. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I can't get over this. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> they really they really like you guys. They're so cute. I can't believe this. They're so cute. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like I have a lot on me right now. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and I think we basically convinced Eric's sister that she wants to visit after one day, which I will not. So there you have it. We toured Eric's sister around for a week and it officially converted us and we promptly started looking for places to live outside the city. I know that Vancouver is so much more accessible to things within the city than most cities are. However, I think there was a big part of us that felt like we maybe screwed up a little bit in deciding where to live. Sure, a 45 minute drive out into the mountains is a heck of a lot better than the four to five hours that we would stay and sit in traffic to get to like Algonquin in Ontario. Yes, that is better. But we were still kind of missing the point. We didn't want to sit in our cars. We wanted to be able to walk out of our door and see the mountains all around us. So here we are. Please donate to me so I can live out. Please. Don't send me back to Ontario. <laughs> Donate to us so we can continue like to live Like and sub <laughs> subscribe so they can pay for my life. <laughs>